Mm -hmm. and your relationship with Victor Barber's character, uh, uh, Dr. Stein, yeah. um, has obviously grown yeah. um, with your realization of how he really wanted to help you and mm -hmm. not be just in your head. How did that develop that uh, relationship with Victor Barber? That was, that was great. I mean, off screen as well, me and Victor get on like a house on fire. We literally just spend all day, every day, just literally taking the piss out of each other. <laughs> and like, he, he, he doesn't understand the word that I say because I'm always using UK slang and he's just like, friends, I, I, I can't understand the words you're saying. What, is that, what does that even mean? And I'm like, it don't matter, mate. Selfie! And he's just like, can you not? He's great, man. I love him. Um, so yeah, with, with, with our character, you know, it was really nice to kind of we start off at such loggerheads and we're, we're like completely different different people from, from such different backgrounds and different, different ways of life and we really kind of come together and we have a really nice relationship as the series progresses. It's, it's got this sort of um, like father-son kind of bond and it's, it's really nice to play them and, and, and especially to work with Victor who is such an amazing, amazing actor. It's great. Oh, yeah. great. Where you get mutated into the hot creature. What was it like kind of transforming into that new prosthetic? So the prosthetics took uh, like four and a half hours, four and a half hours, five hours, something like that, which was which was long, which was um, but but yeah, it was so much fun, so much fun just to play this this weird like scary hawk creature thing. Loved it. I felt like I was Michael Jackson in Thriller or something. Like that. It, was, it was hilarious. I think I did do that on set. Like I just came on with like my phone playing it, just like, <laughs> like doing the whole thing. But I'm always goofing around like that. I think that Jax has learned that the world isn't isn't black and white. I think as the series um, progresses, he kind of learns that, that there's, there's, there's a middle ground, it's, it's, there's a lot of shades of grey. Um, because the team have moments where, where morally, it's very morally questioned. It's like, do we do this for the greater good or is that, are we going down the wrong path? Or, um, and I think for Jax, he starts off very green, very naive in, in his thinking, very young. And, and yet he kind of learns, he kind of grows up and learns what it takes to kind of be a hero and the tough decisions that need to be made for, for a greater good, I suppose. So yeah, he definitely grows up. And yeah, I definitely love to explore the whole multiverse kind of thing and the different Earths and that kind of stuff. That would be cool. That would be cool. Like the Flash did when they went to Earth 2 and stuff like that, which was really cool. And you had Deathstorm and stuff like that, which was dope. Um, so I'd love to see that. I'd love to see Firestorm do a version of like Fury or something like that where he turns into Fury and stuff like that. That would be pretty cool. That's going to be my pitch for like season two or something. It would be kind of cool to see the different places that you could have been mm -hmm. in the different universes, like if you yeah, had Kurt for sure. Or, for sure. Yeah, for sure. It would definitely be something fun mm -hmm. to explore. Yeah. Now that uh, Ray and Kendra are kind of together, is Jax giving up on that? Burn. <laughs> Damn it. I missed my shot. I didn't shoot my shot. I should have shot my shot. No. Um, yeah, yeah, Jax, Jax is a little miffed by it at first, but, um, but yeah, he comes around and and that whole, yeah, can't give away too much, but um, yeah. What have you to the final two that have been shot that haven't aired yet? Is there anything in particular about your storyline that you're very excited about to see? Yeah, I'm very excited. Um, we explore, we explore kind of Jax's kind of family, family and, and, and his parents and stuff like that. And I believe that is, that one. It blends into one, I forget. Um, I think in F12, I'm really excited to see episode 12 of the show. And, um, 
and how that works out. And it's a really nice moment, especially here to connect with Jax on a real human, human kind of level, which is always, it's always a challenge in superhero shows to kind of All right. keep it grounded as well. So, yeah, I'm excited for it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.